Hello and welcome to Secret Agent Agency. Uh, we're back on Twitch. Uh, no more kick. And also, I uh, am streaming without a webcam tonight. Um, my TV fell off of my wall and damaged some of my uh, v visual gear, my, my video gear. So um, I have a new ring light and potentially a new webcam if i uh, can't fix it uh coming to me soon um my the, the wall that i'm looking at in front of me uh has a bunch of nasty holes in it and i have dr powdered drywall all over my stuff Good times. My name is Kevin, and joining me, I have Jihoon. Hi, but I don't have a webcam, and also I cannot provide mugshot. <laughs> Never heard of one. Uh, and Andrew, are you there? Hey, I'm surprised that I weigh and I'm about the same height as an ex-president. Fancy that. <laughs> no, you're supposed to refer him with his, uh, whatever his prison number is. You mean that. Oh, I don't know what that is. Don't know what it is, yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I figured you guys have something for that. Uh, I've been in my own little like news bubble, but I did hear about that one. Um, and we are here. We're storming this situation, I guess. But oh, um, I wanted okay. to go. I wanted to go to the um, abilities and maybe grab some. As I was telling the boys, I think our long-term goal should be. Um, picking up judgment bolt uh from ramu because i don't i don't know how much i plan on using ramu uh like as a uh an icon um but i want his power to slap on other icons uh but short term i think i want to grab some of these cheaper permanent powers so i was thinking um precision dodge uh burning blade and charged magic the rest I haven't really been using that much, or like some I weren't even I wasn't even aware of. Like I don't think I was super aware of um this uh the stomp one. Down for us. That was OP in Zelda 2. I was I was thinking uh Devil May Cry. It's yeah. an expensive one in the middle. Oh, uh, that's uh, the Ifrit stuff, so it's Limit Break and the two Ifrit moves I never use. Oh, you can never go wrong with Limit Break, but that's pretty expensive. Well, we've already upgraded it recently. Oh, okay. So I'm remembering what happened last time. It was, like, very boring. And we, like, just walked around and talked all the time. All right, fill me in since I wasn't in the stream last week. Fill me in. Uh, nothing Thomas happened. got a coup going on right now. Ooh. Yeah, it sounds like, um... Dion Lesage, uh, better known as uh, Bahamut's Dominant, might be trying to assassinate uh, Mommy Dearest. Oh, That's what it seems you. like to me. Or he's going to assassinate the uh, the kid. Uh, the kid is now uh, the Emperor. Mm. Um, so instead of Dion being next in line, it's this little shit, Olivier. On? Mm. Olivier. Right. Yeah, Dion was pretty upset about that. Oh, FYI, the uh, prison number is one one three five eight zero nine. But first, we find okay. cuts. Okay, I'll write that down. Mhm. Mm That's the only number we'll reference from now on. We will not reference that guy's by full name <laughs> or the number he was at the presidency. Only his email number. <laughs> Level 30 range. What do you think yeah. endgame levels will look like? Also, I think he's on to in, it, Probably in addition 50. to his in addition to um, Andrew's question, did this game actually feel like the level actually matter at all? Yeah, yeah, everything just points. number go up. Okay. I noticed early on you got like maybe plus twos, and then it started becoming plus threes. I haven't been think, paying attention lately though to see if it's been going you know, more, even more number. 
I'm sad you guys can't see my face because I was like, what? Yeah, I like the screen bouncing around there. <laughs> no, I mean, like, I guess, I guess at least for <clears throat> it's important to unlock, like, unlock the uh, get, get more um, skill points so you can unlock more skills, but uh, XP wise, leveling up and then a little raise in a strength, I don't know how much that matters in this game alone. Battles go by quicker the more number you have. Yeah, I mean, and that's the thing, is like, level isn't the end-all be-all like it is in, like, just more traditional RPGs. Because you can also just get better as a player. You know? Like, your your hit points never matter if you're just, like, dodging and parrying everything. Oh, we haven't fought a BP Tribune in a while. We started doing jump attacks. Yeah. Like his limit break, uh, chatter. Yeah, it's the best. He's like, like horrible kill. Which <laughs> uh, overkill in your memory uh, was the best over uh, overdrive system for him, and then at the least favorite overdrive system or like limit break. Oh, sorry. Oh, so, uh, we can, like, I can just describe them all. Like, Six introduced them technically with desperation attacks, but it's not uh, explained. And you would just play the game, and you're like, whoa, why the fuck did he just, like, do that? Like, you're oh, yeah, like, Mirage Dive, Spinning Edge, stuff like that, yeah, right? I forget all the names of them. Yeah, everyone had one, even Joko had one. Um, Umaru didn't. That's because Umaru's for sure. Seven has a, what everyone refers to in Limit Breaks. Mm -hmm. uh, it just like it goes up as you take damage and stuff like that. Eight oh, is kind was... of like desperation attack, but sort of fixed, but also broken. It's also low health. Oh well, if, unless yeah, we'll say yeah. I was, I was going to answer eight pretty strongly. <laughs> eight it's the most the OT. <laughs> yeah. Like and you can. They were all like, like really varied. Like they were all like uh. Uh, Zell had his cool, like, Tekken thing. Yeah. Uh, Selfie had the slots. I do not know how Selfie's overdrive. Limit Break still works, to be honest. You can just keep resetting it to get what you want. Oh, is that what, how, okay. Because like, whenever somebody uses her Limit Break, it's like, they keep resetting until they hit the whatever thing. The more want. critical health you have, or if you have, uh, I think it's Aura in that uh -huh. game, uh -huh. you, get, you get better limits. Oh. So you have a higher chance of getting the end. My understand my understanding of how it works is there's different tables that she can roll on. And mm -hmm. if you're at uh extremely critical health, you have a better chance of being on the table with the good stuff on it. I forgot the the one spell, like some kind of one um instant death the end spell. The end, yeah. Everybody's it's just trying to hit that thing it's so bad. Which I only did it because everybody's doing. Okay, I guess I should do that, but like, I yeah. never understood how that mechanic works. Yeah, it works on a mega weapon. That's funny. For real? Pretty, all the limits are pretty good. I think Zell's is the easiest to be like spammy. Same with Irvine. Irvine, the, yeah. The shooting. Oh no, I really I like, enjoyed um. All the ladies ones are spammy great, one too. Yeah. I remember um to make sure the Renault uses like invisible moon only like you. Just gotta make sure you don't use the other book only that one book. Because it hurts, Limit Break is random. Yeah, you can adjust like what her dog knows. Yeah. I thought that was a great idea. Because I honestly. Yeah, yeah, if. That's definitely some kind of mechanic that I would not realize it exists like that. Unless somebody put it out like in a guide or like tips. I would definitely. If nobody pointed out, I'll probably like just keep. Even if even on my second or third playthrough, I'll probably just give a book to Angelo without knowing how that shit works. So as far as like, like the answer to your initial question, I, I would agree with Kevin as far as like the most OP is definitely eights. Uh huh. Seven and ten have very fairly similar limit break systems. Mm -hmm. Is I'm pretty sure you can carry them forward in seven, right? Because you can at ten. Overdrive, you can carry into a battle. Yes. They're very yeah. OP because of that. Um, so uh, I do want to go worst. ahead, before you get to it, I want to 
call out an honorable mention for a 10-2. Oh, yeah. For 10-2, yes. I'm, I'm counting the special dress spheres. Okay. So you got the special dress spheres in, like, certain grids. Like, you can sw switch dress spheres and have, like, special abilities that are pretty nuts. Mm -hmm. I think there's, a, like, a literal the end garment grid that you can't run from any encounter in the game to make use of. Huh. Like, it does um, uh, max damage, I think. Goods left. All right, so... A this... nine is the worst. Oh, God, yes. And yeah, I agree. This is fucking dog shit. It just happened almost like a... You have no control for it. Yeah, pretty much. Conceptually, it's very cool. I like that your characters, like, transform. Yes. Yeah, the transformations are cool, and there's several story sequences where your characters auto trance, which are nice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But this, the fact that it can just trigger while you're fighting a goblin, and you <laughs> yeah. wasted it, is so annoying. Mm -hmm. Well, in addition to trance, they also um, have limit breaks, don't they? And Zidane's are different depending oh. if he's in trance or not. Zidane, he's, so, he's Zidane's deeper, the only one like that. Yeah, his deeper skill changes. And what is it? BB gets access to double black magic. Yeah, he gets dual cast. Um, I think Steiner just, dual cast. Steiner just Steiner gets like harder. magic sword. Yeah. So he always has magic sword with BB in the party. Oh, right. <laughs> Freya gets like she stays oh, in the air and just keeps shooting spears down. Yeah, her yeah. her jump scale moves become multi-target, which is pretty oh. cool. Oh, I didn't know that. I think daggers uh, summon command summon command becomes a dolan, and then they're all full animation, which means they're full damage. Yes. Zidane, it's it is kind of neat where his command changes, and you kind of like say it's. Oh, it's his genome powers, I guess. Like his, his powers from Terra, because of how different they are. He, he's the only one who's command changes completely. What was the... Well, you know, I, I guess she just hit harder, I guess. It, uh, eat becomes cook, so it's only half health to <laughs> eat an enemy. Oh, I see. I, also, as far as, like, the best implementation of blue magic, I hate Nine's version the most. Doesn't 8 and 9 work almost the same? 8 is just you use an item and Quistus learns it. Huh? 9, you have to knock an enemy down to a quarter health and then use the eat command. Oh, sorry, I got confused because the um, 8 has the devour. Yeah, that's why I got confused. Yeah. yeah you get stats from the devour in 8. How do you. I'm gonna say 7 was the one that you have to get hit. Yeah, you gotta get hit while having the enemy skill with your on. Six, I think, is actually the, the easiest one to learn spells. Because Strago can straight up die, and he'll still learn it. He just oh, needs okay. to see it, which means he can't be blind. And that's the only instance in the original version of the game where blind does something. Wow. And then, yeah, 13's limit break was the worst. Well, not the worst, but it didn't feel so effective. They're situations. They're, they're good if you're not over leveling. Like, it's the easiest. It's a way of, um. Well, actually, no, I was gonna say the long gooey stuff, but that's. You just wanna use death. Mm. Yeah, just. Um, yeah, they're. Do they call the The only limit tonight? breaky stuff I really used was, um. Death and uh, High Wind as like a finisher. Yeah, I think I just must have used Death. Yeah, they each, they each had their weird full ATP gauge. Okay. And the full. I don't even know. I don't even remember how to trigger their enemy break on that one. Oh. It changes between which version you play. So oh, like really? Original, they have um, quickenings, which increase your MP, but when you use the limit, it completely depletes your MP mm. in the original Final Fantasy XII. And um, the re-releases... Oh, I want to jump in here and say that Final Fantasy XI had um, uh, 
class-based powers that you could only use once every two hours, I believe. And those are basically considered to be limit breaks, but people just call them two-hour abilities. <laughs> okay. Really long cooldowns. Like, I guess those are the longest cooldowns in that game. <laughs> Can you imagine longer? I don't know. There's probably somebody has, like, a 24-hour cooldown or some shit. I don't... Whatever. Final Fantasy XI was fucking weird. I don't remember what 15 had, because I never beat it. I um, guess it's like all the armagers, like you just rotate between yeah. all your weapons. Yeah, it was probably just uh, armager, yeah. And then towards the end, you get, uh, I believe it's called the Ring of Kings. And that feels kind of like a limit break when you get it. That the one that just like insta-kills admin toys? I... Oh yeah, that's Ring of Death. I think that got like added to the game. I don't know what that is. Just like an insta-kill that has a low chance of working. FF15 was terrible, I'm not sorry. But here we uh, are so... playing a not terrible Final Fantasy. Yeah. Damn it. We'll have to find a way This has too many... What did we describe it last time? Like, just long stretches of nothing in between yeah. very exciting parts. It really is a mini map, though. Yeah, there's no map. I'm trying to. I'm trying it. It's there's nothing. Oh, wasn't there a like a, a button to kind of point you where to go, like Torgal? Torgal Smith. Ah. For yeah, there was something like that. Wow. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Torgal Sniff. Yep. I guess there was the one little lit porch to point you there. Reminds me of how um, Valve designed like the Half-Life and like Portal games where it kind of like leads you, like they make use of lights to kind of lead the player. Yeah, uh, this game, I gotta say, could have used, um, I don't know, somebody on the team should have watched that, uh, commentary track i guess it's it's kind of this game is kind of rough with that sometimes you got these braziers pointing you sorta well, that good. i feel like we're barely getting any closer <laughs> Pretty large environment, though. Yeah, and honestly, it's beautiful. And, like, I remember seeing the cutscene that had this, and I was like, there's no way we get to play this. It's like, it's too... it's too much. But here we are. You know? it's It seemed, like, too dense to be playable. That was me selling the game short, because here we are. Ah, another goon! I'm gonna make sure to master that twister so you can always bust it out. Make it hard to see. Yeah. yeah upon my uh, so I finished nine again. I have not oh. played it a couple years, and um, game good, but gameplay pretty bad. I think I mentioned before, the worst implementation of the ATD system is just so slow. We, we talked about limit breaks, the worst limit breaks, worst implementation of blue magic, but 
story and characters are like, really, really good. Yeah. Like, I enjoy just playing through the game. And it's not that long a game if you're just playing through it. No, like, I mean, you. it's very possible to beat it in 12 hours. Yeah. It, it's... I, I mean, I, that's not hinted at at all in the game. No. But, um... I guess I could see people somehow stumbling upon it, maybe. Just from running through it quickly. Yeah, the only way I knew about it was because I think it was in the official guide. It was one of the very few pieces of real content in the official guide. <laughs> They decided to go to play online. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and um, the latest version of like Memoria or whatever, they have a green mod in Memoria, lets you change Tetra Master to um, Triple Triad. Ooh. So you play tri uh, Triple Triad in the game. That's actually a lot of fun. Though it is like just the normal rule set. Like, no elemental or other like okay. same plus all those other kinds of heavy uh, rules. Uh, so I I voiced this opinion before, but my Final Fantasy hot take is that Tetra Master is better. I don't like how random it is. It's so strange. It's like an RPG with an RPG. It's like okay, physical or magical attack. These are the defense stats, and they do go up when you win with the card they do level but there's like rng involved and i hate rng or the reason why like when i play triple triad through eight i like delete all the rules i hate yeah i i do too <laughs> it's like terrifying to get to outer space and suddenly like if you fucked up you have every rule all at once I don't remember what the fuck Sudden Death does. That's one of the rules. Um, I think if you have uh, 5 and 5, you go again. And okay. uh, something happens, is I think it's like a shorter game somehow. I do like the one that has the numbers wrap around, I think. Oh, is that a plus? I think so. Elemental's okay. Yeah, same is okay if you're like if you get used to it first. Yeah. But when they just like spring it on you, it's like oh shit. <laughs> it's a fun little game. They, they did a good job with that. <laughs> Torgal leads. Can you see him anywhere? This screams big fight. Mm -hmm. shoot. That's cool. Oh shit. It must be one of the dragoon's pets. I was like, expecting that kind of Dragon has it out for us personally. Dude. For the city it's of millions White Dragon. And, uh, we're here and it's like you don't you're not going anywhere. Is it blue eyes, White Dragon? Uh to see from here. No, orange eyes. Yeah, it oh. looks orange. It's got this... blue horns. Hmm. Gotta admit, I... the whole like whenever Seto Kaiba duels and he somehow makes a new variant of a uh, blue eyes white dragon, it is just bonkers. <laughs> What is going on with the map? Oh, <laughs> camera's a little weird there for a second. I barely remember anything from that show. Screw the rules, I have money. I quote that a lot. 
Is that from the, um... Oh, shit, what are they? It's from Set Out Kaiba. Yeah, I don't know if that was, like, actually from it, though. Wasn't that from, um... Oh, like a maybe, fan video? oh. Yeah, the, uh, bridge. I don't know, maybe. Yes, the bridge series. Wait. Oh, Can't dude, I'm giving this dragon a prostate exam. Hell yeah. There we go, he staggered him. Oh, now you're in his face. Your yeah, hand I is teleported. Not... Your hand is not big enough to feel the cross. It should have been me, not him. Is that actual line or a bridge series? No. I wonder. I did like the, the Dragon Ball and Bridge with the Cell games. And just like constant edits of different different characters from different shows showing up. Including like a JoJo. <laughs> I just always thought it was funny that um in the original version of Yu-Gi-Oh, they they killed people through a card game, right? And yes. then for the four kids or whatever release, they were like, "Oh, we send them to the Shadow Realm," which Shadow feels Realm. like infinitely worse. It's possibly into purgatory. Like, I yeah, mean, the it's Shadow like Realm's the... got to be worse than death, right? I mean, it's like the whole like Tensor Sleep of America. Like, okay, you cannot tell them that. But you can show that all the gory stuff or like torture happened, but as long as it doesn't happen on screen, it's fine. Well, I learned something kind of funny recently is, um, oh. you remember like uh, Sailor Moon, Sailor Says, and stuff like that? Like, it was because, um, there was some kind of mandate where like every show aimed for kids has to have some kind of educational element, and that what? became. Yeah, it uh, it made it a lot easier to get onto American TV, like or like Saturday morning cartoon stuff. So they added this like Sailor Says, the Sailor Moon, and they tried to uh, make it fit with the episode, but sometimes it was really generic. I mean, I guess that makes sense why the GI Joe had a segment of the more yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. They just like shoehorn that into every show. No, it's half the battle. Yeah, um... No, it's half the battle. Precision sick. I don't know any of those combos. I get a score oh, like Dragon even Dance. Of 13. Please, plus one attack and speed. I need no Dragon's 10. Apparently, Dragon Knight is oh, like shit. a Exo total player. beast now. Uh, uh, go Terra normal and spam extreme speed. Oh no. Yeah, that sounds terrible. Hmm. Big beefy boy. Dark and I could do that well too. Yeah, I'm recognizing a lot of FF14 style attacks. Like I'm recognizing um, what people are what people call exo flares in that game, where it's like AOE's that spread out in different directions. That. I just got hit by it. Very good at demonstrating it. Yeah. The new armor cord came out. Yeah. Yeah, it, it tore my house down. I I 
like it a lot so far. I haven't had like a huge opportunity to play it yet. Um, but I think I'm most of the way through the first chapter. Um, Apparently, it, the, the Dark Souls of the Armor Core. Yeah, it had a it had an opening cinematic that had a lot to say about uh, darkness and uh, uh, fire and embers and cinders. Oh shit! I wasn't paying attention. I got you distracted there talking about armor yeah. cores. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I I haven't really been able to customize my uh my robot too much yet. Uh, I think it wants me to like get used to the game first, and I can get used to new parts. Right now, everything that's in the shop feels really expensive compared to like the money I make for missions. Oh, I. Okay, so this fight's designed to be kind of long. It's like checkpointed towards the end. Oh, I didn't notice for. Okay. That's appreciated. Yeah. Yeah, because honestly, this fight feels like a marathon. I know I've had a lot to say before about, um, like, by the time a fight gets going, it's over. Uh, mm. this is not that. <laughs> I'm kind of bored of this one, honestly. We need more numbers. Bigger numbers. What does numbers mean? Well, it seems like every new icon we get is like... I don't know if that's like directly an upgrade, but it seems they seem to be a lot stronger. I don't know. Maybe we're just getting stronger. Maybe we just got an achievement for blocking, I guess. <laughs> Holy twenty. I'm guessing that's like a combo. Oh, these are beams. A stagger damage combo was like 11,000 or something. Yeah, it wasn't I that got, great. Um, I jotted down a combo someone has late game that does 200,000 damage in a stagger. Jesus. So we'll be able to get pretty big numbers. All the numbers. Beat your enemies via math. You can only do that in a few of those games. You go nuts in Final Fantasy V with that. Same thing. There's an entire class for that. Oh. Uh -huh. Fucking math skill. I thought you were referring to, uh, like, mimic strategies at first. No, I just I like was think ma literal math. Yeah. I was thinking of, like, uh, people who cast, like, four, four Knights of the Round and then have, like, the three other characters mimic it, so you get, like, 12 Knights of the Round and you just go and make dinner. It's a pretty Come easy back, OP, beaten. OP thing to do in 7. Yeah. There you are. I didn't know there'd be a dragon. <laughs> All right. Let's get out of here. Oh. What now? Is that Mother Crystal's heart? What the hell 
is it doing up there? Oh, that's Muhammad. Muhammad. Damn, that's cool. Wait, is Bahama killing his own people? Uh, no, I think this is, um... We're in, um, Odin's territory, aren't we? Oh. Uh. I'm not sure. No, we are in um. Oh. This is not what he wanted. Something's happened. Forgive me, Yoda, but I must put a stop to this. Oh, maybe he's like raging, like how uh, we were when we first turned into Frit. Like he's not in complete control. Hmm. Something well, happened off screen. Titan. Yeah. Like the crystal manipulated him. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, there might be something going on with that. Players. It could be anything. Oh. It's uh reflecting Bahamut's shit back at him. Oh no, it's it's giving him the suck. What? That's like the heart of the mother crystal. Right there. Spraying the new bud. Yeah, everything that just happened is hard to so, uh, make heads or tails we of. Then? We destroy the heart. We might come back. As soon as the flames die down, the Imperials and the Dalmex will move in. This may be our only chance. And Bahamut has gone for now. You should get as far away as you can, Goots. And leave you slot in the ledge. I can't do that. If you're staying, then so am I. I. I packed everything up before I made a run for it, so if there's out you need, just ask. But I won't be giving it away for free. Nan would never forgive us if I did. Thank you, good. Just let me get me stuff out. Welcome to Goots's Toll. <laughs> oh, Diamond Sword. Number kind what? of go up. What's the second number? I don't. There you go. Uh, I guess that's like magic power. Stagger. Oh. It's on the bottom. Right. Yeah, it makes sense. Oh, uh, we like that. Cool. Silicon Sash, number go up. Thank you. Diamond Armlets, number Hang go on. up. There you go. Uh... Any interesting accessories? They're always just like a little percentage. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if any of these are worth it. 
Well, we have auto dog, um, better dodge, and I'm AP up, I think. Yeah, AP up. These are materials, songs. We'll get we'll get pots. All done then. Big hammer. Okay, so we can reinforce from here. Let's upgrade our our diamond sword. I hope you like it. Ah, I did it. I hope you like it. That's ten times better than it was before. That's not true. Good luck, Clive. I can talk to Torgal. Be brave now, boy. Oh, I'm a good boy. So, I've I've been poisoned by uh, Baldur's Gate Three brain rot, and I was just like, oh, I should drink a potion of animal speaking first. <laughs> I've been I've been playing a lot of, of that. all your animal friends. Dude, Baldur's Gate Three is so fucking good. Drake's tail is right Did you there, kick the right? squirrel? No, I I ignored it in my current playthrough. I think this is a no squirrel run. Oh, it's past time. Ooh, point of a temporary no return. Bahamut is still out there. And I dare say we'll be seeing him again before the night is done. We'll have to find our own path. Do you feel that, Clive? Ether. Just what we need. Another flood. It's already turned back. Then there's no reason to hold back. <laughs> So to borrow uh, Final Fantasy XIV parlance, I guess these guys are tempered by the crystal. They're drunk on the ether. Picked up a new um. Manga. Oh. Oh, what'd you what'd you get? It's um, I think the title, like the translated title, is "I used high level medicine to counter magic." Jesus Christ! It, it is an isekai, mm. but it's really fucking good. Okay. Huh? I'm not familiar with. Uh, it's a well. doctor who um finds himself in fantasy land, and he's just straight up a doctor. Like, it has little blurbs of actual knowledge as far as, like, Ooh. what he's doing. I have a question. I have a question. Okay. How close is it to the Bachelor's Route of Pathologic? Because I feel like that's kind of what you just described in a way. Like, he's starting to run low on medical supplies, but he's just, like, heals wounds, um, all sorts of stuff, like, perform surgery on, like, various fantasy creatures and stuff like that. I'm paying attention to the game. Yeah, I see that. It, the art is also really good. Okay. Ooh. For me, definitely artists. Art, good artists required. It is very good art. No mistakes. So I'm, I'm serious, yeah, I've got the, the potential, but like, once the art is so bad, I cannot distinguish one character to another. So, speaking of which, um... I really read the uh, sub, uh, sub series called Magi. That's how you say it. Oh, that's an older one, right? Very old. 
Oh uh, yeah, Magi the Labyrinth of Magic. Yeah, okay. What was the initial run of this thing? Uh, yeah, I, I remember Ooh. seeing it in like, I want to say like Barnes & Noble or like some bookstore, I think. Yeah, so it ran from 2019 to 2017. Okay. Um, there are a total 37 volumes. Uh, the story... So I read, we read it yesterday and I was like, it's a good thing Good thing I'm re reading this in a one go because if I were to read this weekly basis, I would lose track of what the fuck is going on. There's so many like flashback and backstory that needs to cover. And then... So, okay, back to a little bit Orton topic, if I just uh, digress a little bit. Basically, the art, it kind of shows you, so, everybody knows that when you're trying to draw a weekly chapter of manga, it's hard. But you're, yeah. so you're, you're on the deadline. And, my god, the art on that, sometimes, it's hideous, the way things are drawn uh -huh. in this, in the manga. It's like, not exactly doodle per se, you know, as in hideous, but more like, this art, but I can tell that this manga art is trying to like, um, overemphasize. Oh, okay. And because of the character figure gets, gets a little bit distorted. And it's, it becomes more, it gives you more of a, what the fuck, rather than, oh my god, that's cool. That's pressure. It is me. It's on my. It's on my mediocre. It's that. It's not a bad, but it's not great either. But I would definitely. It, if I were to rec would I recommend it? Kind of yes. But not hard. Not hard recommend. Like oh, you must read this. Like, you know, if you ask, if somebody asks me, hey, I have access to reading all the, all the chapters of Magi the, uh, the Labyrinth of Magic, which is would you recommend it? If that's the question, yes, but it's not gonna be one of those like you need to read it. Definitely not. Is that Phoenix? Joshua. Hmm. What is he doing? Keeping the helmet occupied. Joshua! Joshua! It's too dangerous. I thought Joshua couldn't really use his power because he kept the uh, Voltamod in his body, right? Uh, never say anything about him not being able to use his power. Um, oh. he, he's just like pretty sickly and weak, It's my understanding. Oh. Um, so on the topic of things I've read in Japanese media I've consumed and stuff, I got a two things to talk about, I guess. Uh, one is I've been reading, and this is not all this week, I should be clear. I've been reading a comic called Excellent, um, which is... Oh, you mentioned is, that. Yeah, it's a, uh, comic that is kind of a reunion tour of, uh, the ecstatics from back in the day. It's, um, same writer, same artists, um, but it's, I want to say it's probably, like, 20 years later. And they resurrect some of the characters who died in the original run, and it's um, it's the Ecstatics versus a new team of, I guess, mutants that were kind of left behind or killed off by uh, them called uh, Excellent, and it's kind of just like a a cool team of weird mutants. Uh, the the leader of one of the teams uh his power is just that he vomits like really powerfully <laughs> his name is zeitgeist which is a really funny name for that what's <laughs> name zeitgeist ah uh, because it means like the the voice of the people <laughs> oh <laughs> uh. Most of the people in the bottom 
Um, and also, um, when I'm going through hard times, which I am currently, I seek what tends to be pretty cringe-worthy but comfy media. And in this case, I've decided to uh, come crawling back to uh, Naruto Shippuden, and I fin I finished it finally. I was I stopped uh, sometime around the time that uh, Madara got resurrected, I think. And uh, oh, Kabuto was doing like Snake Sage Kabuto things. That's where uh, I left to, off. Just to double check, are you took from the anime or the manga? The anime. The anime. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so I finished Naruto Shippuden, and I did so by, um, just, whenever I saw something I didn't care about, I just hit fast forward. Mm -hmm. It happened a lot, uh, cause there's, especially towards the end, there's a shitload of filler, they really drug that out. Um, I mean, that's what happened when you, I mean, so actually me, me and my coworker kind of briefly talked about this, but... There was there were series, those series were from the era where like they're just making up as they go, because manga itself was kind of slow. Yeah. The anime was pop. They're popping with their uh, new episode like, every week. So. Yeah. Uh, so the so ending. Or... <laughs> the um, end segments of Naruto Shippuden. Uh. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't think they were great. It was kind of nonsense. Um, I don't know. Like, I, I remember there being like a lot more exciting moments. Like, I loved um, the pain arc. Um, like, pain versus Jiraiya was really cool. Stuff like that. Um, this didn't really have anything for me to grab onto, and maybe that's because I came back near the end. Um, but yeah, now I, now I can say I've more or less watched the whole thing and I don't have any regrets. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just, I needed something comfy and kind of familiar to keep my mind occupied. <laughs> I've been, um, served up a, a replay of, um, Shin Megami Tensei 5. And then we did to get all the endings in that game. So uh, I, I never got any ending in that game. I can't, I, I need to go back to it. What I think I'll end up doing is probably emulating it. Because that's a game that runs so slowly it makes me feel sick. Oh, damn. It is a bit, like... It's unfortunate that it was on the Switch. Yeah, um, it, it kind of makes me feel sick when I play it. No, yeah, there is not consistent frame rate. I wonder if there's a reason on why they're uh, shooting like a Tensei wise. Like they're oh, no, keep... no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Cancel the spirits within. No, thank you. <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> Oh, this oh. guy's basically a Dragoon, too. What were you gonna say, Jihoon? I'm sorry. I'll show oh, I'm just gonna cur uh, I'm just curious why the main Shin Megami Tensei has been... Well, I guess... Relegated to portable for consoles? Yeah, the... Well, I know it's not all the time, but like, at least for past... One, like, four and five. So, and so is the, uh... What's that? Devil Survivor? Or is... Yeah, Stranger Journey. Journey. No, and then Strange Journey. That's yeah, Strange why they, Journey. Yeah, I wonder why they've been kind of just stick with that platform. I wonder. Uh, Those are the they're a lot cheaper to. Nintendo. Yeah, they're a lot cheaper to um, make. Their best-selling uh, games of the series is Persona. Those have been yeah. out on mostly PlayStation consoles. My yeah. guess is that they just don't have the capability to make like a 
triple A like high production. Like I, I don't think like SMT team can make a game that is like Final Fantasy 16. You know, mm. it's a very niche series. Yeah, at least Persona. Even though that's the side. Persona 5 blew up at least, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was referring. I was gonna say like, uh, even though. It, uh, it's kind of spin off for the main series, and yet that's the one that gets more popularity popular compared to the main one. Yeah, I feel like uh, Shin Megami Tensei is like a much harder sell than the Persona series. Like, I feel like yeah. the Persona series just has a lot more like pop culture relevance. And because Shin Megami Tensei itself is really has this deep concept, and mostly the whole chaos versus lawful. Gotcha. Persona 5 is the best selling release in Atlas history. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Oh, this is, uh. Looks like somebody doesn't want us getting any closer. Yeah, it this seems like it's uh, another one of the right. Ultimate's boys. Yeah. Nick? Oh, shit! Look at his name, Andrew! Yeah, it's Necro Crows from 5. Oh, he does have his uh, four spheres. Yeah, he's got his buddies. Let me give him a shot. Oh, he's got the I have not looked up to see if uh, Gilgamesh is in this game. I haven't heard anything. Like a lot of a lot of shit about this game has just kind of found its way over to me because everyone else has beaten it already. But. But yeah, what a random fucking uh, guy from classic Final Fantasy to show up here. What was it before Typhon? Yeah, Typhon. But this guy seems like pretty authentic design rise to the original Necrophobe. Obviously stylized to fit more, to fit this game more, right? But yeah. like he, He's got the color scheme, he's got his four friends. He's really tricky fun. Especially with four berserkers, you just want to have the last thing fun. <laughs> Ooh. I was already locked into that uh, Phoenix move. Oh, he's gonna cycle. He does something similar in five. Yeah. I think his gimmick was like having reflect up, and he couldn't like, directly target him until you destroy all four of his um, little uh, probe things. Already got him like half half staggered. Oh shit! I think it's staggered. Oh okay, so he, this attack has a health bar. 
Oh, it's like, like a enrage. Uh, yeah. Like you have to, yeah, you have to lower that thing as soon as possible. Otherwise, he gets a one shot or something. Almost like a two. Honorable gets something yeah. similar with Bahama and Mecha Fire. Because if he's had that in certain games, like four. We did it. Ooh. Oh shit. This... This feels so much like an FF14 fight. <laughs> uh. Oh, no more heals. One, two. I forgot Torkoal can heal you now. Yeah. I think he's got a cooldown on it. And it's also just not that spectacular to begin with. Okay, so this is uh, Uppercut. And then this is Get Away. Uh, oh, okay. That's his charge. This is his desperation moves. He's just kind of spamming him out. Yeah. I think the hardest parts is honestly his regular sword combo. <laughs> okay, backing up. That was a uh, unannounced Bungdaga, I think. Uh, I almost got him. He staggered him, I think he got him. Damn it! I'm saving all my... Okay. Alright, here we go. Spam all the ultimates. I'm gonna stack the bar like that. Yeah! Very nice. Still plus threes. Oh yeah, I forgot that um, the host for the uh, Process Right has passed away. Yep. Yeah, Bob Barker. Like also, um, some wrestlers passed away this week. Yeah, uh, one of them was one I really like, uh, Bray Wyatt. He's he was only thirty six. Yeah, which is the sadder part. God. Yeah. Wow. Did it say the cause of his death? Um. So he had complications after having COVID. Like he had a really bad bout of COVID, and then after, like sometime during his recovery, he had a heart attack. We can think oh. about them later. Right now, there's only one thing we need to focus on. So it's just like, damn, what the hell happened there? It sounds like an absolute nightmare scenario. I think he has two kids, and again, he's only 36. Um, but only WWE, 
uh, I think WWE has been releasing a bunch of his old uh, shirts and stuff so people can get it and the uh, profits are going to uh, his family. That'll be not not to that whatever that being a McMahon that they better yeah. not go to his pocket. Yeah, they're they're giving it to um his family. Good. We might be able to get up through the building. It's worth a try. Yeah, the other wrestler who passed away is uh, Terry Funk, who is a well-known, like, legend wrestler. Like, I, uh, like he still had, he was still an active wrestler, Someone like, I want to say in his 70s. Is someone there? But yeah, he was actually, like, booked for shows. Oof. It's you. Yay, our favorite people. What happened hey. Oh, you he, got to be he tried to take him from me. Oh, my boy. My darling. Oh, boy. My darling boy. Is this the child you made with the Emperor? Why? Are you mother? Serious? Why did you betray us all? You have no right. Answer him. We took you in, savage. Show some respect for those who <laughs> raised you. <laughs> Honorable Elwyn, always thinking of his precious homeland. But what worth is a homeland in a world beset by the blight? Father did not seek to protect his country. He sought to protect his people. A leader's duty is not to protect his people. It is to protect the source of his sovereignty. The noble blood that runs in his family's veins. So long as this bloodline remains unbroken, what does it matter if a nation falls? One can always found another. Unlike him, I did my duty. I preserved my line. I bore a son of the noblest blood to whom the whole world might kneel. That is why I gave Rosaria to Sambrek, that I might join my line with the Lasages and birth a savior of this benighted land, blessed by both Bahamut and the Phoenix. What the fuck? You sold your country for a child. Why did he? It's one of those. You have it's one of those trouble. Like their logic is so twisted, you were and yet son, they're, they they think they're so and right. And daring, and yet you failed to awaken. Would that Joshua had been granted a tenth of your strength. Oh! How the nobles laughed that Elwyn's firstborn was surely the son of a concubine, and my own not long for this world. The shame of it. The shame of being slandered by one's inferiors. Oh my god. You never know how that feels. Oh, it fuck off. Been you. Why <laughs> didn't the Phoenix choose you? Oh, seems like one of those trouble like the or this lady you and the Phoenix and the Duchy. Her child is not a family, it's just like tools or something. To help bear the weight. But what did you do? You betrayed your own blood and surrendered your son to his fate! Joshua, my darling boy. I never meant to hurt him. The soldier's orders were clear. He was to be spared. Why did you survive when the only one I truly cared for died? <laughs> Have you not looked out of the window? Joshua is here! The Phoenix lives on! He's battling Bahamut as we speak! <laughs> I hate this bitch so much. Ah, yeah, perfect timing. Joshua! Wake up! Oh no. Don't tell me. Don't be dying on me again, buddy. I am a shield of Rosaria. We're having a reunion only to die. 
and I will do my duty. What are you? Mega Filaire in five, four, Well, boys, here we go. I can't play time. Oh, no. Big damage number two. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing this is supposed to be like one of the flowers that they they like so much. That was a a constant symbol. Oh yeah, oh yeah, another commission. Flower. Also, and it's a nice arena. It is a nice arena. Oh jeez. I'm thinking Bahamut might play similar to Ramu. I feel like have um, like mega players and stuff like that. You know, might be ranged. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Yeah, step on me. Oh, Phoenix is helping. Joshua! Go! Leave my brother alone! Oh, are we like awakening a new ability now or something? You've learned Spirit Flare. Our tubeless triangle, massive stream of light. Oh, okay, so it's a beam. Okay. Uh, cancels abilities. That's good.
I think it's going to be hard to top Titan. The Titan, I don't know if you think it like over, you know, overstated some. It took a while to do that. Yeah, Titan was cool, but yeah, that was, that fight was like, what, that was, that was a whole recording. It was like an hour and a half. I think this is what has Odin and possibly Shu, but no. Let me guess, Giga Flare. Yep. This feels like classic FF boss music. We have to play Phoenix again. Oh, maybe. Yeah! Embodying the Phoenix again. Move, fire, charge, fireball. Okay. Oh, okay, Panzer Dragoon style. Yeah, we only last played him at the very beginning of the game. Yeah. They're more about dodging now. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is very pa Panzer Dragoon, which makes sense. I mean, we're fighting Bahamut. Works. What do they call that kind of rail shooter? Yeah. I mean, the the way the, like the lock on works. Yeah. Yeah, they were definitely trying to do a Panzer Dragoon thing here. Like, it controls very similar. Because one of like the hallmarks is you don't control the uh, character, you control the um, cursor, and the character just kind of follows how it wants to follow it.
feel like this play a lot better with a mouse control. Uh, I guess so. I'm definitely interested in like how um, speedrunners approach this game. I saw I the speedrun for Baldur's Gate is like under 10 minutes. <laughs> That's interesting. I don't know how many minutes are Uh, Misty Step, I think. Alright, so I think you can also not charge. Yeah, there you go. Use normal attack instead of charge. I don't know. I'm not really sure it is. I presume if the vehicle player goes off, you die. Did I do it? <laughs> I did it! Wow, that was close. Yeah, the, uh, the fireball is kind of weird to use. Oh shit, it's Ockmorn! Yeah! From the Bahama fight in 14. Oh, okay. He, he's doing... Oh no, he's doing all of his 14 stuff! Yeah, you have a laser beam now, too. Not done yet. Oh, 
Oh, Phoenix comes to join me! That's funny. Your turn. Oh no. Oh shit! It's Terra Flare and Tank Limit Break. Yeah, we're 14. Can beam him? Beam me up, Scott. He has some clean hits on him, and not just standing by now. Oh damn, was that like the whole arena? Yeah. Thank you, brother. Dude, so close. I got plenty of heals too. Yeah. Muhammad defeated. Uh, what do we say? We take a break right here on this screen, mm -hmm. get some water and stuff, and come back. Uh, so this is the end of our uh, part one video for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining us on YouTube. We'll uh, be back with part two here shortly.